All right, welcome back to the next lesson in ochos and pivots. So to determine the backward ocho, we're gonna think about the foot that is farthest away from us. So if you were my partner and you pivot me, the, the foot that is farthest away from the camera or my right leg is the one that I would do a backward ocho with. And so if I complete this ocho and I pivot to the other 45, it's now my left leg that's farthest from the camera or farthest from you and there's my left leg. So this would be backward ochos. Forward ochos, the opposite is true. If I'm pointed towards you, my right leg is the one that would move and it's the one closest to you. I take that step. I would pivot and now my left leg is the one that's closest to you. So we're gonna do forward ochos together. Forward ochos are often done in a line right in front of us. So this is easier to do by taking a sidestep and getting into CrossFit system from a sidestep, which we haven't done yet. So it's a bit of new information. We're gonna take a sidestep. I'm gonna change my weight here, but at the same time, I'm gonna pivot her to point this direction so that now her left foot is gonna go forward. And then here, we're in forward ochos. So we're going to start that again so that you can see this and we'll start it from this angle. So I'm going to take a side step to my left, I'm going to change onto my right and then take another side step to my left. It's a quick, quick, slow count. For, for Marina, she's going to take a side step to her right, pivot and then go forward ocho. So quick, quick, slow and here we are in ochos, forward ochos. Forward ochos stay in one place generally. All right, very good. So go ahead and practice that, some forward ochos. And in the next lesson, we're going to look at how to go from backward ochos to forward ochos.